Welcome back fellow data science lovers. I am thrilled to introduce you to our YouTube channel Data Detectives where we embark on exciting projects and deep dive into the world of data analysis, machine learning and EDA. With project based learning at our core, we bring you hands on experiences and practical insights to help you sharpen your skills in different types of data analysis and much more. Whether you are seasoned pro or just beginning your data journey, our channel is the perfect destination for uncovering hidden patterns, solving real world problems, and unleashing the power of data. So, without further ado, let's delve into the captivating realm of data detectives. The first project we are going to do is Instagram user analytics and for this analysis we are going to use SQL. So what is the objective of this uh, project? The objective of this project is to analyze user behavior and engagement metrics on an Instagram clone. We will use SQL to extract and analyze data from the database to gain insights into user behavior, content performance and engagement metrics. Uh, here we are going to use SQL as a primary tool for data extraction and analysis okay so first of all we are going to create a database we have an SQL file for creating our database uh, which is available in the, in the description below here the database is IG clone and here we are going to use IG clone the tables that we are including in this database are users photos comments likes follows tags photo tags that's all and we have inserted uh, different types of data into these uh, into these tables okay so let's use this table uh, or this database uh, for our further analysis so by uh, by sql command using use ig clone we are going to use this database we have run this now first of all let's select uh, all the data from the users table so here we can see that these are the columns that are available for the users table id username and created it from here we can see that we also have comments table so let's see first let's see what are the available columns and data that we are going to manipulate and do data analysis on so see let's comment uh, what are uh, things available in the comments table from comments so here we can see that so <coughs> this is id comment text user id photo id and created it next we are going to see our follows table select star from follows and let's run it so this is follower id followee id and created it next we are going to see likes table um, small l likes table so if we run this sql command we can see this is user id photo id and created at next we are going to see photo tags photo tags this is null so we are not going to use it next we will see the photos table photos table so here we have id image url user id and created date okay next let's see all the columns from tags so here is id what is the tag name and what is that day creation date okay uh, next and the last is users table so let's see users table <coughs> okay so users table has id username and created it okay so the first analysis we are going to do is to find the users which have been using the platform for the longest time 
so for this purpose we are going to use the users table uh, so users using the platform for the longest time so let's first select the users table okay and let's see what is the data available with us here we can see that uh, ID username and created at is available so we have to sort our data uh, in the decreasing order for the column created at so let's try this let's order our data by created at so by doing this we can see our data is sorted okay our data is sorted by the created at in the ascending order so initial val uh, values are the initial data are the persons who are using the platform for the longest time if we want to limit our data for only five users so let's run this here we can see that uh, these five users are using the uh, instagram clone for the longest time okay so now let's see the next analysis what we are going to do uh, we have to find the users who have never posted a single photo on the instagram for so for this purpose users first let's make a comment users who never posted a single photo on Instagram okay so first of all let's select everything from users table okay so this will give everything from the users table and now uh, we have to uh, see which users have never posted a single photo so let's left join this table using left join with the photos fair how we are going to join users dot id is equals to photos dot users id okay we have joined these tables let's run this query think there is some error <coughs> okay yes there is a spelling error here it's not users id it's its user id so on joining the data we can see that id username and created are created at are the columns of the user table and id image url user id and created date is the are the columns of the photos table and we have uh, used a left join which means that all the data uh, which are matching in both the tables are available as well as the data from the users are completely available okay now we have to find where we have to see for photos.id photos.id is null so for this uh, from this we can see that which users have never posted anything so here we can see that these are the users which have never posted anything on instagram clone so i think what are the number of available users there are 26 users that have never posted anything on the user instagram clone okay now let's see another problem we have uh, we are going uh, a start a contest and the user who gets the most likes on the single photos will win the contest now they wish to declare the winner so we have to find we have to find the photo which got most number of likes 
okay so let's do this analysis first of all let's select uh, everything from photos okay let's start the our analysis from the basic level so we have selected everything from uh, our photos table and now let's in a join this table with likes on photo id so likes dot photo id equals to photos dot id and further join this table with users because we have to find the user which got uh, the number of which whose photo got the number of maximum number of likes so photo dot user id is equals to user dot id okay uh, on running this query uh, there is some error i think yes this will be photos dot user id so we can see these are the columns that are available for the complete uh, joint table now we are going to select some particular columns that are required for us this analysis that is username photos dot id photos dot image url and we are going to count number of rows for this as we are using our aggregate function so we will group by photos dot id okay so if we run this sql command we can see that we are able to count <coughs> the number of likes for every image url so for, uh, as we have to find who got the number of uh, most number of likes so we will order this total table in the descending order uh, let's do this count star as total so we are going to order this by total okay if we order this by total we can see that this user Zach Kimmer 93 whose ID is 145 and this is the image URL got 48 likes so if we want to limit our result for only highest so this is the value okay now we are going to see next problem here we have to find uh, which team or which day would be the best to launch the ads as the team instagram team is launching an ad campaign and the team wants to know which day would be the best day to launch the ads so how we are going to find which day is the best day let's write the comment which day is the best day to launch ads okay so with the highest number uh, will be the best day uh, to launch the ads so let's select everything from users so we can see this is created ad available with us okay so for these values for these data we are first going to find the day name we are going to use day name created at and we are going to save it as day and we are going to count let's first see this so we can see the day names these are the day names that are available with us we are going to count it and get the maximum number for this uh, as we are going as we are using aggregate function so let's group it group it by day and let's order it by uh 
let's save it as total and order it by total limiting only one row so when we run this sql command we can see that uh, this is giving in the ascending order with the lowest number use it uh, for the descending and we can see that Thursday has the highest number for creation so this will be the best day uh, to launch any ad campaign okay so friends this is the end of this project so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out uh, any of our thrilling projects and data discoveries join the data detectives community and let's uncover the hidden secrets together thank you